Oh, how's it going guys? Just pulled up on the track here for a bit of a rest. Knackered. Just come up quite a big hill. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the burn, that's for sure. Thanks for clicking on the vid anyway. We uh, had a beautiful drive in. Sort of uh, started off with that um, like real bushy sort of land. And as we sort of drove up and up the mountains, it sort of turned into this beautiful rainforest. And uh, got the car parked up and um, a lot of this, I could have got up in a full drive. There was one area where it was real sketchy, it's just washed out big time from the floods. And there was road, um, road close signs and that, but a lot of this you could get in here with your four, but you'd be a bit sketchy on your own. I wouldn't come out here on my own. That's why I'm walking. But yeah, the, the pack's heavy. I've got heaps of water with me, me and the dog. And I'll tell you what, the walk back's going to be a lot better. A lot more downhill and um, probably six to six to eight kilos lighter, I'd say, by the time I dump my water and food. So I'm feeling the burn heading up. Jeez. But yeah, beautiful drive in. Stunning walk. Just cruising through this rainforest. I'm sweating, but once you chill out, it's probably about six degrees cooler Celsius than than down at sea level. Um, it's probably about 30 degrees today, and it's probably about anywhere from 22 to 24 degrees in here now, I reckon. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoy the vid. Thanks very much. There we have a big golden orb spider. He's quite big. It's about just a bit smaller than my hand. Little dog kennel. Oh, it's cool, eh? Pulled up for another little rest. Getting a blister. I've been putting it off, you know, you're like, oh, I'm getting a blister, nah, she'll be right, just keep going, keep going. And I'm gonna get onto it before it gets bad, because I always regret it. I end up dealing it with dealing with it for two, three weeks. Yeah, it hasn't rubbed through yet anyway. 
just a little bit tender. I want something here anyway, just to give it a little bit of a uh, padding. And that'll do the trick just nicely, I think. I haven't really found anywhere where I'd be happy to camp yet. Hopefully soon. Because I'm certainly sick of walking. <laughs> that should do the trick. Always get that if I get blisters, it's on the backs of my heels. So, make sure I don't lose that rubbish. I've got proper socks that are made for this shit. No, I didn't wear them. Hopefully, that'll be the ticket. Hey, Lucky. Hey, you're all right, mate. I should have put a pack on you. You could have carried some stuff, eh? Hey? You could have carried the pack. All right, get it, get it, moron. All right, forward and beyond. Yeah, just got basically stuff for blisters and snake bites because I know out here you get a lot of red belly black snakes, which are very venomous. And probably every python under the sun, but they're all right. But yeah, um, that's my main thing. And if I did get bitten, whew, I'd be in the shit. Anyway. Yeah, well, this is pretty much me. Just walking, walking, walking. It's nice. I'm not making very good time because I just keep stopping and filming stuff. It's pretty nice, eh? Just come up some big eels. Whoo! I'm really really just want somewhere to pull up now. I'll be stoked if there was somewhere with water, but I don't think there is. Hence why I um, brought a heap of water with me. But yeah, it's just beautiful. Anyway, keep trekking. Hey, Lucky. Hey. Bet you that's nice, buddy, hey? Is that good? Is that good? You're going in again. Whew! Found this little zone. 
I feel like it's going to be mozzie infested, but man, I've done some K's and I'm sick of walking. I'd have to do a bit of clearing to set up a camp, but I think Lucky approves. But yeah, it's just been the case of oh, just next corner. What's what's you know what I mean? It's always go that little bit further. Ooh, he's going nuts. Um, I don't even know if there's ground here to pitch a tent. I just don't know. I feel like leaving the pack here and maybe walking just a little bit just to see. I was hoping for a bit of an opening with something like this water. I brought water, but it'd be good. I mean, Lucky can drink this. No drama, so. Anyway, oh. This could be a good zone. Oh, I don't know, mate. That's a big day.
um, decided against that last spot I think I spoke to is with the the water there uh, I think it's going to be buggy enough out in the open let alone next to a a pond but yeah all set up now got the tent tents all set up uh, just got a bit of firewood for cooking the tarp in case it rains which I nearly wasn't going to put it up but I thought oh we'll, we'll chuck her up and um, yeah I'm absolutely knackered I um, from that last spot I left the pack and everything there and walked up um, probably a couple of K further just thinking that that was that prime spot but it just never popped up so I've actually backtracked probably half a K from that last water spot so and I just had enough I'd collapsed pretty much I was just like this will do I'm on the path pretty much not that anyone comes through here but yeah so chill out um, yeah and just get a fire going soon and start cooking after a bit of a chill out beautiful bird noises and bugs and insects and butterflies and there's stuff everywhere out here um, yeah but I've pretty much spent the whole day walking it's been pretty pretty painful actually so hey yeah I don't know how much filming I've done to be honest I won't know until I edit it but it just feels like I've just been walking for no reason <laughs> Anyway, it's been good fun. Cheers. Alrighty, for dinner we are doing we've got the Thai coconut and lemongrass gourmet rice. We've got some prawns, uh, scotch fillet, um, which I'm gonna do. Got some butter, parmesan cheese, garlic. Parsley, a little bit of chicken stock cube, and some cream. So basically we're going to do a garlicky prawn sauce sort of thing with the rice and a little bit on top of the steak. So that should look alright I reckon.
fast flip. Highly rate this one, guys. Mm. Well, guys, I reckon you'd near on pay for that in a restaurant. That was beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, I just, um, with my food, I just froze the steak, froze the prawns. Um, yeah, that was it. I've got a frozen toasted sandwich to throw on the grill in the morning, but that's how I did it. And then I just, a couple of Gatorades, and just froze them up. And that was in the little esky bag here, which was a pain in the ass carrying it, like with the pack, and then you got the camera on the bi tripod in one end and the bag in the other. It's, but after that, it was all worth it. But yeah, I'm just going to fully flex out now. I'm knackered. And, um, Lucky's done the dishes. <laughs> oh, that's gross, isn't it? I don't need to use them now. I'll just take them home in a bag and give them a proper wash. Um, yeah, camp's a bit of a pigsty. Probably tidy that up soon. And I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe get the fire going again soon and um, probably have an early one. Like I'm I'm pretty pretty wrecked. I think it's about six five thirty now, so it's good to get dinner out the way while it was uh, in daylight, so but yes, anyway, cheers, we'll talk soon. Just sitting here, it's about to go dark. Just watching Lucky before he was just buzzing out, tripping on everything, all the crazy noises everywhere. It's really nice, you can hear all, like, I don't know, it feels to me like about 15, 20 different bird noises. Had bush turkeys here before, it was quite strange, one comes straight up the path and um, I was just sitting there filming him Lucky was chilling, he saw him at last minute but he must have got within 3-4 metres before he dazzled off yeah, no, it was very interesting to hear the rainforest at night, well you know, at night Lucky snoring. He's got the fire gun. He's got this long hollow log, which are really good for smoke. 
I'm, I'm sitting here not getting bothered by mosquitoes at all. Just got a fight, nice fight coal fire burning underneath it and the log's half on fire which is just sending off just the right amount of smoke. It almost sounds like there's monkeys hoofing around up there in the trees. I've got no idea what all these noises are. It'd be good to get a little book and just see what's out here. I've been trying to um, video birds. It's impossible. I haven't got one yet. <laughs> it's just so thick. And you're just along this fire trail here. So you're not amongst the trees. and Yeah, it's just so hard to get them, but... It's quite cool now, it's getting nice. But the warmth from the fire is sort of circulating through this tarp here. A cool breeze and then just this nice warm tunnel flow sort of thing, it's nice. Yeah, been sitting here for hours now just listening to the, the music of the forest, the jungle. Really nice. I hope all them sounds are coming out on the camera. Ah. Yeah, anyway, I'm just going to sit here and keep listening to the music. And then might throw on a pod, download a couple of podcasts to give a go. I might just lie in my tent. I'm going to sit out here for another couple of hours though. It's just, it's freaking mental. I can only imagine bloody, oh, like places like the Amazon and the racket that must be in the trees and there at night would be friggin' unreal. Anyway, he's uh, hiked a fair way today, old Bucky. Anyway, always ten steps ahead. <laughs> oh. Ah, good on you, mate. Anyway, I think I might uh, chuck some wood on the fire. Yeah. Sit down. Lie down. Lie down. Chill out, mate. Lie down. Lie down. That's it for 
for me guys, I'm all chucked in, comfy as. Fire going just out the window there. That'll die down. And uh, yeah, like I said, comfy as. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. in here still but yeah we just uh, just got the fire going it was freezing last night didn't sleep too well it's all good really looking forward to the sun coming up See? sucking in some warmth for this fire it's beautiful I mean, up to about three really. Uh, last couple of hours of just lying there and not really dozing off and cold and nah, uh, gotta get myself a decent sleeping bag. Plus ten just didn't cut it. <laughs> Hopefully another hour. Just daylight. We'll uh <coughs> Tape up the old wounds and hit the road. Bit of brekkie and a coffee, and yeah, that'll be it. Good morning. See how fresh it is in the mornings. <sighs> Haven't seen that for a while. <sighs> Out come the bird fleet. Have a listen to them. <sighs> Toasty's going alright. Hot coffee and a ham and no cheese and tomato toasty. There's only enough ham for the daughter's school lunch the next morning, so that'll do it. Well, that side looks a bit better.
thanks for watching guys um, I'll leave a little what I had in my pack at the end after the outro so if anyone's interested they can watch it uh, I'm no guru so no biggie if you do or you don't but thanks again for watching uh, appreciate all your support big hike out of here now not looking forward to it but it's all good it's nice and cool in here we're only about 12 13 degrees at the moment I reckon so ready to hit the road lucky or what yeah mate all right thanks guys have a good one I just thought while I was packing up, I'd um, just run through the gear I bought. Um, yeah, lucky. So this is my new Tasmanian Tiger pack. I forget the name of it, but I'll, I'll everything will have links in the description. I uh, got the DD three x three tarp by DD Hammocks. Yep. Um, just a Denali hiking tent, a hiking mattress, a pillow, sleeping bag liner, and sleeping bag. Um, some rope for the tarp I've got a camp chair what's that that's just all my cordage a Grunsford's Brook uh, 420 axe and a Karasandu knife with steel some pegs a grill by Alton Goods got a little cook set here just a billy can and I did bring the attachment off the jet boiler so I can use gas if needed little possibles pouch um, that just holds like knives and forks and head torches spare cameras uh, yeah camera batteries um, the little handle for cooking with and yeah lots of little bits and pieces that's just my food bag uh, plate and frying pan so buy a snow peak uh, snow peak tongs um, a light first aid kit mug just a plastic bag for my rubbish and there's a few little bits and pieces in the pack but um, nothing too important but um, things I, I need and don't need it's quite a bit probably could just um, like stick to cooking on the fire and I could can gas cooking I didn't need this light um, a lot of things in that pouch you just bring because it's all together pegs I could get away without bringing pegs and use sticks chair wouldn't have to have a chair these two here I could probably can for just a decent sleeping bag um, that wanderer is used it's plus 10 so it's just not made for this um, cordage no I need that a big pillow don't need that but it's very comfortable need a mattress need rope need a tent, need a tarp, so yeah, a lot of stuff I could can and a lot of stuff I just bring for comfort, anyway, I'll get this packed up into the pack.